Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand that he was experimenting quite a lot with ceramic art, and I'd love to know a little more about it. I mean, how was he working with uh, with ceramics? Well, he discovered the Maduro workshop uh, when he first travelled down to to the south of France after the, um, at the end of the hostilities. And he, at first, was a layman in it. Uh, he had no formal training. He just liked the look of it. He liked the uh, owners of the workshop. And he sat down with them to learn the basics. And that kind of involved working with paints and glazes to just decorate already established patterns. And then as he became more comfortable, he did what he did with everything, which was experiments. And he decided that actually he could make better paints and he can make better glazes and that he could actually make better shapes and more and start to produce these kind of anthropologically shaped vessels of owls and of fish and of other birds and, and creatures from his imagination. And he would produce these either as unique works and there's a large number of unique test works which survive and others which are lost, which obviously didn't survive the experimentation. And then there are other series which he managed to produce in editions of up to 500, which an incredible kind of act of love in many ways, because he would sit and work on these plates and these vases and just paint away, repeating motifs over and over. And there's always these subtle differences. But he, like a lot of the work he made through the 50s and 60s, there was a kind of a sense of, of honing down a motif and really working hard to, to find the perfection in something. There's almost like a platonic pursuit of this ideal form that he's trying to find in, in the repetition. So you mentioned it a little bit there, and uh, I think it's interesting to see that this exhibition sort of also shows uh, Picasso's love and fascination with animals and animal figures. Uh, so I was kind of thinking, what was it that you think he found so fascinating about birds, fishes, and so on? Well, he had an incredible kind of affinity for for uh, wildlife and for nature. And he had his pet animals, dogs and goats. And uh, he was kind of known, his biographers have stated that he was able to tame wild birds to come and rest on his on his hand and shoulders. And it's he, it's, there's almost like an apocryphal idea of this. But it begins earlier with the work in the 30s, whereby he is associating with the surrealist movement and through that the kind of the stories of the classical mythology and these uh, incarnations and symbolic use of use of animals as motifs to represent desire or wisdom uh, which then starts to really sort of permeate his work and in the 30s he adopts the minotaur as his personal emblem um, and he sees this idea of the wild man this kind of caged dual form of the refined man and the wild creature within uh, which ultimately step stands for desire and masculinity. And then as he gets older, he approaches the image of the owl, which is Athena's animal of wisdom and contemplation. And he takes the owl to be far more significant in his life. And what's always interesting is from the 30s onwards as well, Picasso dates his work religiously. And he insists that it is not good enough to just see the work as it is. You have to know when the work was made and in what context it was produced. And for Picasso, an awful lot of this biographical detail focuses around the women in his life at the same time. And so you see the kind of use of the owl at the same time that he is working with the models of that. So that David, who came into his life in the early 50s, who was a 19-year-old, and unlike a number of Picasso's former muses, their relationship was chaste. Uh, and Picasso, whenever she would have come over to, to, to model for him, she would be accompanied by her fiancé. And this, there's a certain sort of change. I mean, Picasso is nearly 70 years old at this point. So, I mean, he's, he's, a, he's an older man and a changed man. Uh, and so you have this sudden kind of adoption of, of more wise uh imagery and it is impossible to look at Picasso's use of, of animals as anything other than uh, step-ins for human personality traits. <laughs> 